Hi guys, this is Sharon and this is my new laptop and I will show you the configurations of this PC. This one is Intel i5 and 6th generation and 2.3 GHz speed and 8 GB RAM. Now I am going to install the Hyper-V on this machine. Let's Hyper-V is not installed. For that we need to go to the control panel. In the control panels we need to go to the programs and features. Here turn windows feature on or off. In this feature we can see that one hypervisor, Hyper-V. Here just click this one and ho. Oh. For this one it is showing Hyper-V cannot be installed, virtualization support is disabled in the firmware. For this we need to go to the BIOS and in the BIOS we need to change the some options. I will show that one also. For this I'm just clicking OK. It will take some time. For that going to BIOS we need to restart the computer and the BIOS in the advanced options we can change that just clicking the virtualization option and just select that one and restart it. After that we can that will be enabled. We will check that one also. It will take time to load. Windows computer the request changes. Okay, and I am closing this. I am closing this one also. Nothing will happen here and here hypervisor here also nothing will come ok I am going to restore my PC and I will just enable that one and will come back hi I just restored my PC and now I am going to check that one hypervisor platform is available or not options turn on windows features here plus yes yes this is now available provide this all things hypervisor users and hypervisor just click ok it will take some time And what I changes is I will show you that one. Adjust my I will go to the bias. In the bias I change this one. After restarting the my PC and I am going to this one F ten. Bias setups in the bias setups we will see like this in main page we can view that one and the main and there I am going to the advanced options in the advanced option I am selecting the system option in the system options I am just clicking this virtualization technology and save and exit after resharding I will enable automatically enable this option here now it will install and I just want to restart again. Okay. After restarting the PC, you can see this one Hypervisor V Manager. I restarted my PC twice. And how it looks like? Just we will see this one provides tools and this is my host name here we can add a new VM virtual machine creations hard disk management flap is and 